Morning class R. This week I read Norman the Slug with a Silly Shell. And if you've not heard it already, go and have a watch that video because it's a really good story and this is going to be kind of linked to it. So we've got Norman here, the slug, who desperately wanted to be like all the snails. He just wanted a shell. So the toilet roll challenge this week is going to involve you making a slug first. Now hopefully you've had a go at making some other mini beasts, but this time we need a slug. So I've got all my resources just like before. And I'm going to turn him into a slug. Ta-da! Just like magic. Here's my slug here. Uh, I've coloured him in sort of sluggy type colours. Um, he's got his optical tentacles. Googled it, that's what they're called. Um, which he uses to see. He's got his little tentacles underneath, which are called sort of sensory tentacles. So he uses them to feel and to smell. And he's a happy little chappy. But he could be happier if he had a silly shell. The next challenge is I'm going to go around my house and try and find as many different silly shells as I can think of. So let's see how it goes. A sock shell. A loo roll shell. A baked bean shell. A lemon shell. An Alexa shell. I'm not sure what went wrong. Sorry, Alexa. A football shell. A biscuit shell. Oh, now I've eaten all this. Norman's city shell. Right, they're my ideas. Make yourself a slug and see what you can find in your house. 